just uh, tell me how practice was today. Uh, I thought practice went pretty well. You know, uh, the first day at pads, uh, everybody's going to be hyped up. Everybody's yeah. going to have high energy. They're excited to be out there. Finally get to hit a little bit more without just uh, shirts and helmets on. Um, you know, there's going to be a little a little bit of rust, um, but I thought the guys flew around, guys adjusted, guys took care of each other. I thought it went well. I mean, everybody's still trying to pick up all the schemes and stuff. And, uh, but I thought with, with all that given and said, I think it was a great practice. And, you know, we're going to definitely build on that. Coach said he called it the birdcage drill, the Oklahoma drill, the, kind of before you guys started. What well, what does that do to, to get the practice going? Um, Birdcage drills is obviously it's the first time we've done that, and it's just something they put at the beginning of practice. Get the whole team around. You know, there's gonna be a little bit of bragging rights and all that stuff with offense and defense, and everybody gets hyped up and we call out people from each position. Of course, not everybody's gonna go. There's 100 guys on the team, but you know, there's gonna be different matchups each day. And I mean, it's it's a great way to get us excited. And, and since it was the first time doing it, everybody's like, oh, who's gonna who's gonna get this? Who's gonna yeah. get that? So it was lots of fun to get everybody going. Who's the uh, wh how how different is practice? Um, well, yeah, you know, at the at the end of the day, there's gonna be there's gonna be some similarities in drills and stuff. But I think the biggest difference is, is you know the constant energy. Everybody's trying to constantly move. You can see the coaches, you know, uh, from drill to drill. Everybody's trying to keep moving, keep moving. There's a high tempo, high pace, and and it's not necessarily it's like taxing us more energy wise, but it's it's just making sure we're we're always rolling. We're gonna get our get our rest within the drill, but I mean in between drill and everybody's just trying to keep moving, moving, and moving the whole entire time. I think that's probably the biggest difference in the practice, you know, structure and everything. I know you were you were close with Coach Reeve, Coach Coker, they they're the ones who brought you here. What what did what was it like when you heard that they were leaving? Um honestly, um, you know, if you y'all read the headlines at the beginning of December, Coach Brown was let go, and you know it was, it was kind of surprising because I figured um, you know they would have probably done that immediately after the season, so it was a little bit of a surprise there. Um, and then you know whenever we you know, were off at break, we heard about the news about Coach Coker, and that was a little bit more of a surprise. Um, and with you know usually tradition, whenever you know, head coaches go, that you could kind of expect a position coach uh, staff change as well. So I mean, it was it was it was in my head a little bit, but you know, it was just it's the nature of the nature of the beast, is the way you know Coach Reed described it to me whenever they left, and wish the best, and you know, wish the best for me, wish the best for him, and so. You feel like um, it's it's up to you as one of the older guys on this team to kind of you know pick up what those guys kind of left behind to, to, to get the ball rolling with this new right. staff. I mean, um, with with any time you have a senior, junior, upperclassman, you're always going to be looked at as the guys who are looked up to um, how to how to do things, how to go through workouts, how to go through practice and stuff. But I think it's a little bit more amplified uh, with the new staff. Everybody's trying to figure out who they are. Everybody's trying to make a name for themselves and. Uh, when the bullets start flying, I think the, the guys are going to look to each other for, or look to the older guys who've been around. And I think, you know, it's it's a little bit, you know, higher higher uh, capacity of, you know, looking upon somebody yeah. whenever there's a new staff. So. What uh, what can you tell me about the offense? How, how different is it? A little um, bit more pro style, a little bit more under the center? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, it's listed as multiple. But I mean, last year's list is multiple. Yeah. But, um, I mean, there's going to be some similarities. There's going to be, um, you know, a lot of different looks. Um, you know, like you said, it would be pro-style stuff, um, a lot of incorporation, you know, some tight end stuff, you know, non-tight end stuff, you know, two-back stuff. So it's going to be a lot of different looks and hopefully get the defense, keep them off balance and, uh, you know, make it hard for them to prepare for us. So I think it's going to take the offense a little bit, um, you know, to get used to the stuff, learn new concepts, learn new schemes, when to adjust for blocking and, and stuff that defense gives us. But I think we'll be good. I think uh, everyone will be successful with it. Coach says his uh, depth chart is etched in sand. Where do you feel like you are? I mean, obviously you've been here the longest. You have some game experience. Where do you feel like you are in kind of the, the depth chart in, in your mind? Um, in my mind, um, I, I like to like to think I'm uh, the man right now, but you, you never know. It's uh, like I talked about earlier. It's a uh, new staff, and, and nothing's yeah. for sure right now. Uh, I'm just showing up, working like I did. You know, the first two years I was here, trying to make a name for myself. And you know, obviously they've seen the film um, from last year and years past to kind of figure out who's who's who and what they can do. Um, but you know, the biggest thing for me is trying to work and, and come out here every day and, and make a name for myself. Um, you know, if I, 
I like to like to think of myself as the guy right now. But you know, like you said, everything's that's insane. You have consistently bad days, and you can obviously get bumped down. So. What's your What's your goals for the rest of the spring practice? Uh, the goals for the spring practice is ultimately to become comfortable in the offense. Um, I've I've had you know three four years of, of blocking against the defensive guys and you know different things. So I'm gonna, the biggest thing for me is to improve like my knowledge of the offense and feel comfortable in that, so I can play fast. You know, work on little technique things. You know, breaks and, and route running, um, you know, certain steps. You know, foot, like foot drive and, and block, blocking. But I think at the end of the day is, is just becoming comfortable with everything and making sure everybody around me is comfortable. My tackles and stuff that. You know, we're on the same page when we're making calls for blocking, so that's the biggest thing.